So this is kind of an entirely new way to work with track mats, and I love it. Now if you'd like to follow along with this tutorial, be sure you update your version to see this feature. And if you want to download my project files that I'm working with here, those will be available over on my Patreon page. Link in the video description. Big shout out to my tier 3 patrons, Tyson the Keymaster, Mike and Sandra over on YouTube at Flumi Plus One, Barnes Creative Studios, Josh, and Kroki. Thanks folks for making this video possible. All right, over here in assets, I have the map of China, which I got from freevectormaps.com. This is an Adobe Illustrator file. I'm gonna scale this up and be sure to turn on continuously rasterize. So I have those crispy edges. And what I wanna do, as you saw in the sample, I'm going to throw all these other elements inside of my map. So I have the flag here. I have this handsome fellow over here. And I also have a texture, which I'll be adding later. So to see the track mats, I need to toggle the switches and modes here. If you still can't see them, you can right click on the column and then go to columns and select modes. And right away, you'll notice that these look different. So prior to this version, you had a drop down menu here that showed you, you could select between four things. I think it was um, alpha mat and luma mat. And then there was two, you know, you could do alpha inverted or luma inverted. And that would apply a track mat based on the layer that was just above your source layer. And the problem with that is you always had to have those layers next to each other on the timeline. If you move them, it could give you a problem. And you couldn't really easily apply multiple layers to the same track mat unless you were using the set mat effect. And I am very much anti set mat effect. If you like that effect, please defend yourself in the comment section. I'd love to hear your opinion on that. So now you have these pick whips and you have a drop down menu that essentially work very much like the parent and link section here. In fact, I as I've been using these new features, I've mixed them up several times already. <laughs> so right here, I'm, I'm gonna rename China and I will just call it Matt as well in like big capital letters just so I know. And maybe change this color too. So let's change it like yellow. And now if I grab the flag, check this out. I'm gonna grab the flag and I'm gonna kind of move it over China here and then I'm gonna grab the pick whip and I'm gonna select China. And now it immediately turns this off. I get the track mat symbol, or I, I can see these symbols here. I also have this symbol over here. So right now it's using this as an alpha mat. Now if I click on here, it's gonna switch it to a luma mat, which I don't want right now. This is an alpha mat. Just to the right of that, you have a little button to click to invert the mat. Now I can just grab the flag and position it. So let's say I want the stars like right here. And it's not, you know, I'm still getting the cutoff edges of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new solid and I'll just grab this color here. And then with this, I can also use that as a track mat and then just place this layer below my flag and then bang, I've got this and I can call this additional red. Super easy, right? So now you can see I've got two layers using the same layer for the track mat. Amazing, mind-blowing, I love it. Now let's grab your boy over here. Let's place him in here. Bink, there we go. Now check it out. Now we can scale him down, put him right over here. And now we got something going here. Now it's looking a little too clean, so let's add a texture. I'll go grab this paper texture, drop it in here. And this lovely texture is brought to you by today's sponsor, Envato Elements. With a subscription to Envato Elements, you get access to over 56 million assets. Now, while it's nice to be able to create a lot of elements from scratch, oftentimes I'm in need of elements to help create my map animations quickly. I'm constantly using assets from Envato in my animations. These include icons, ink transitions, sound effects, textures, and pretty much anytime I'm looking for something specific or unique, I can always find it on the site. As you watch this video, be sure to go check out the website as you're gonna find a bunch of different examples of these assets that I'm explaining on the site. All different types of variations and styles. And the beauty is that if you join, you get unlimited downloads of all these assets. Envato offers a nice and clean, simple lifetime commercial license, which is good even after your subscription ends. Following the link in the video description is gonna give you 50% off when you select an annual subscription, which will give you access to everything on the site for under $20 a month. And we're gonna take this paper texture and you guessed it, we're gonna use it with China as the track mat. So now I've got this texture placed over here and all I gotta do now is basically switch this to a certain blend mode and uh, bang, we have a texture. I kinda wanna get rid of that color as well. So I'm gonna go to the effects and presets panel and I'm gonna go grab hue and saturation, drop that here, bring down the master saturation. Is there a desaturate? There's not just a desaturate effect, hmm, there should be. 
And you know, you can play around with this texture by dropping a levels effect on here as well on your texture. And then you can, you know, bump up the contrast or do whatever you got to do. Play with the midtones so you can really have tight control over how your texture looks. So now you can see I have four layers all using the same track mat, and it doesn't matter what order they're in, I just need to order them based on which layer I want on top, but it doesn't affect um, the actual mat, how the mat's working. They're all using that one country layer as an alpha mat. Beautiful. Now I can go and grab all of these, and I can parent them to, so now if I move this around, this will all stick, and we have a super sweet, super dope map. Let's say we wanna make a quick background. I could grab this paper texture, just duplicate that, bring it all the way to the bottom, and I'm gonna click this little invert button. That's gonna invert it, and now if I solo this, check it out, that's, that's an inverted map, which is really cool. And what's so cool about that is if we wanna do specific blend modes on our map, we don't have to worry about that paper texture uh, showing through the bottom if we don't want it to. You know, if we just wanna get rid of it, we can do this as an inverted map, and it's uh, nice and clean. I'm gonna grab this additional red, and I'm gonna duplicate that, and I'm gonna invert that map as well. So now we got this little background, and now I can grab both and maybe do something, um, I don't know, maybe just bring it down like this. If I'm not a big fan of that, I can go just create this border. I have a new, I have a preset over here called Composition Border. Rename this border, paste this red color in, and then bring the width of this down to 25. If you want this particular preset, I'll make this available on my Patreon as well. But stay tuned for this Monday. I'm gonna release a video where I'm demoing some animation presets that I, I was, I got really lucky and Adobe hired me to create custom presets for the latest version of After Effects. It's kind of mind blowing. But I have a video coming out um, on Monday uh, that's explaining those presets. I have like, I think it's somewhere between like nine and 11 presets in there that I got to make out of the 50, which is totally crazy. That's like a fifth of the presets. So I got this border now, it's red. Again, this is too clean. So let me just duplicate this paper texture. And then let's say that I want, I'll put it above the border. And then I'm gonna say, use the border as the alpha. It turned that border off. So I just need to turn that back on to bring the color on because I do want it blending with that color. So now we've got a little paper texture border. You know what, let me come back over here to Envato and see if I can find another background. There you go, what about this? Waving China flag. So let me know what you think down in the comment section. I am really curious how many of you use the set matte effect because when I work in geo layers, uh, I, it's like a combination of using a lot of track mats and set matte effect. This is a very, very much a welcome feature that I think is gonna be great. And if you'd like to learn more about pre-comping and using track mats in geo layers, be sure to join my Patreon page because I have some, uh, I think my next exclusive tutorial is gonna be all about doing like advanced pre-comping and working with track mats in, inside of geo layers, which is a very, um, very difficult topic, but if you learn how to do that, you can create some really amazing looking things that you can do like custom transitions and yeah, it's amazing. I'm rambling now. Go check out Envato Elements. Thank you Envato for sponsoring this. I love you as always. And stick around for this Monday. I have a very cool tutorial. I'm gonna be demoing all those animation presets that I created and I collabed with a super cool, huge YouTuber, one of the biggest, one of the baddest YouTubers. It's gonna be great. See ya.